Hello, sorry I am late. Shanna, Hi. Howard J, really sure. Gina versus Gina. How are you guys? Again, I apologize for being late. Track practice ran over. We had to do some, a little bit of extraness to, um, just because they don't have practice for the next two days. But he has another track meet Saturday, and this one's a big one because I need him to qualify to enter to states. So your boy got to run 15 minutes in, for two miles and 15 minutes in order to qualify. Right now he's doing 20 minutes. So, um, hey, I'm biased. Hey, Cheryl. So I am pushing him. I am pushing him to do a little bit extra so we can qualify for states. Um, I want him to get the full experience. I want him, I want him to be one of those children to travel and do, do the running and really understand that track is... First track is not for the week. Cross country is not for the week, but it's, it's a big discipline. It's a self-discipline. Cross country is very self-discipline. And I'm really, really having him work on self-discipline and working on his attitude because child, this boy, this boy and these girls, oof. And then the school's like, it's not really him, it's the girls. I right, well, he I fought too. He him and his daddy. His his daddy's fault because he helped make him, and it's his fault because he shouldn't be that handsome when the girls are all over him like that. So that's the way I'm gonna put in. I hope everybody enjoyed their week. Or, or is enjoying their week. If you didn't have a good week, I hope you're having a nice day. It looks like it's about to rain out here. It was, I thought it was going to rain while we was running. I think I'm going to have to do my live app. I mean, my run after the live tonight. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's like a late night jog to get my workout in. I didn't really do much today. Today was a lot of talking for Erica and not much working out so but hey Tan how are you but um I really wanted to talk about how we can get ready for the winter just because the winter is coming and it is coming quickly and um I don't want anybody in my community to have an excuse why they're not prepared and while my husband is not here, well, I don't think he is. He's probably in the bushes watching. But I don't want nobody to have like what we had last year with the busted pipe and trying to figure it out on Christmas morning. That wasn't cool. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let's make sure we prepared before before it actually the cold really, really starts creeping in. Um, Just giving each other different advice on how to be prepared and what you need to do to be prepared. Cause, um, hey, two dollar. Cause the cold to me, I mean, anybody can get through a winter. Anybody can get, you know, you can start prepping in the fall. But fall, the fall is tricky. I tell people all the time, cause you have your nice days, and they know all of a sudden you have your cold days. So I think if you start, you know, preparing now or switching your, um, I know a lot of people like to switch their wardrobe over around this time where they start, you know, slowly putting away their summer clothes and pulling out their fall and winter clothes. I think this is the time to start. I think uh, I think some places are hey Zach. Um I think I think certain states are gonna start getting um cold sooner than later. Hey fam, what's going on? So I know we barely get cold. Like if we do get cold, it really starts like the end of December, beginning of January, where we really start getting cold. But I still, I, I really start prepping for my winter around this time, like right before Halloween, honestly, just because um, like it was 55 this morning. 
I couldn't even imagine. 55 for us would be like, like I said, December. And that's when you see. So let, let's talk about that real quick, Zach. So you know how it's like 55 there, 55 where you at, that's like sweater. Like, yeah, I'm gonna put on a sweater, right? Here, here in South Georgia, I even seen it in Tallahassee a couple of times. Where it's 55 and they got a scarf, bubble coat, and, and their tents on, and I'm looking like there's no way. There's, there's no way. That's that's sweater weather. That's when you need to have your, right, Gina, you have your hoodie and, and a, just you don't have your bubble coat yet. They do here. They have the coats. They have the scarves. They have the gloves. Like, they're prepared for a snowstorm. And I feel like it's 55 degrees, though. I can't. I'm, I can't do it. <laughs> Gina, I'm not Southern. I'm not. I refuse to become Southern. I refuse it. See, two dollars. We still not sixty in the morning. We st we. St I would say this morning we was about seventy. We was about. It was warm this morning, and right now is eighty-seven. So I mean, it's cooler than usual. But I, it's comfortable. But I know next week is is gonna go back to being normal, like you know, low low nineties, high eighties, which to me that's comfortable compared to our summers. So <laughs> right, Gina, right. So um, my number one thing that hey Ray. The number one thing that I definitely, definitely do, especially especially through the summertime and more so through the um, full time is because we have a fireplace, I definitely start chopping wood. I make sure Alex and Billy has our firewood definitely squared up for the winter time. I don't want to have to go too far to get my firewood just because. If, if I wasn't married, then I wouldn't care going, you know, doing it myself. Because I'm married, I do act extra bougie now because I feel like that's not my, that's not part of my title. That my title is for me to go outside my door and grab some wood and not go to the backyard to cut it and get it all ready. Mm -mm, that's not my job. That's not part of my job title, not being married. My title is to go to right outside the front door grab some wood to put it in the fireplace to act like I'm going to start it and be like, oh, no, sweetie, I can't get it started. Go ahead and start this for me. That's my title. That's that's Erica's title. That's me being married. That's me being extra privileged. So I got that. That that one right there. Always have, make sure if you're married, your husbands have your firewood ready for you. The next step is to act like you can't light it, even though you know you could. But still, that's not in our category, in our wife's category. And I, this is the this is the wife handbook right here. So if you don't know your, you know, your the rules of being a wife here, here, this is it. It's right in here. I, I promise y'all, this is the wife book right here. You're right. <laughs> right, unbiased. I be acting extra. Zach is not lazy. It's me. <laughs> It's me being extra. Er, but that's what I was saying. If you're single, you don't have that extra privilege like I do. I have that, you know, it's not part of my wifely, you know, my my wifely duties. He didn't he didn't sign off on that. <laughs> Is there a psychic? <laughs> So after you get your firewood, please make sure you have enough lighters. I like the barbecue lighters because they're long. Make sure you have extra candles um, around. I like also their, I don't know where mine is right now, but those, um, those, the flower pots, but the clay flower pots that have the hole on the bottom, 
and they come with the you know the little base so the water don't spill through on a flower pot i like to put candles in there i like to put the candles in there so you can still get the um light that come out the top of the clay flower pot and stuff so <laughs> if i got we guys guys i'm taking notes so I like having those around because when it does, when your candle does burn down, it stays within that clay pot and, you know, your house don't catch on fire and stuff like that. Um, my next big thing to have, I, now I am frugal. I am frugal. I am cheap as hell, everybody. Trust me when I tell you, I'm not buying those heavy ass $30 curtains, those blackout curtains. Listen, buy a solid cover, heavy sheet and use the sheet. So you know how on the sheet, the, the folded part, like this folded part here, this is a real curtain. Don't judge me right now. But on the curtain, it has, you know, like the top part where it has like the, the hole. Listen, just make two slits on each side and put the rod through there. The sheet will keep most of the cold out. I promise y'all. I, I I swear to God. I do it. I have sheets as my curtains for the winter time. Just so because our windows are old. And it keeps all that cold air out. I used to put plastic on my um, windows when I was younger. Well, my parents did. But then I was like, yeah, I don't want to be that damn poor. I don't want to look that damn poor. But... I'm just saying, it's not a poor thing. It's it's more or less is keeping yourself warm. So if you want to, you know, staple the plastic to the windows to keep the um, cold air out, I do recommend that as well. Um, I'm sorry, you know Wednesday's the foolish, you know, it's Wednesday foolishness. Alex is acting like I'm not on live right now, asking me 101 questions. So... Yes, put the plastic on the inside of the window. Right. I got them curtains from Costa and it's some, <laughs> it's some cheap store. They are worth it. Draft stays out. So I haven't, so, you know, Urban, I do, I do Amazon. I don't get out much. So if it's on Amazon for cheap or for a discount, I got y'all. I may even get myself a pair. But for right now, I like doing the um the the flat heavy sheets. I like doing those. I am on live. Go get dressed. I didn't that's not a yes. So anyway. Hey, she is sunshine. Hey, everyone. Um, How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, girl? Trying to be like my dear. Make sure another girl. thing. Okay, go, go. go. The Wednesday foolery. Yeah. The Wednesday foolery. Another thing that I definitely, definitely like to do is, um, especially in Alex's room, I make sure if his heater is plugged up, I, I every morning, every night, every time he walks in and out of from school and back from school, I make sure his heater is clear of everything so nothing catches on fire. Like most most things that happen during the win winter time is because kids have clothes next to, you know, uh, heaters and that's what catches on fire. I'm biased. He's not funny. He is. He's aggravating. I'm biased. So aggravating. Um, so I I like to clean up around his area, make sure, you know, everything is clear from it. And, you know, y'all know Alex will yes me all damn day and not do what he's supposed to do. So um I definitely, if you have a bug out bag and everybody should now the laptop. The laptop. Zach, call your boy and tell him his laptop ain't charging. So if we like 
Okay, I got it. We shouldn't get cut off, guys. I think I got it. But um, I now God just got freaking distracted because I was gonna say something else important. I forgot. I'll probably come. It'll come back to me. Whatever. But um, another thing that oh, you bug out bag. Make sure with your bug out bag, you take out your summer clothes and put your winter clothes in there. This, um, I know around this time, because we're still in hurricane season, I think the hurricanes are becoming more and more active out in the water. It's not a guarantee that it's going to hit us. Um, Urban, didn't Hurricane Lee just hit Canada like yesterday or something? But just just be, you know, just know your your zones. Make sure you good and you know you're you're not in an area that's gonna where it rains and it freezes and all this. Just have all your proper things that you need to make sure you can get through this winter. Um, for your vehicles, please, please, please keep extra water, extra food, especially if you live in an area where it snows a lot. Keep your two-way. Leave me alone because you don't even get cold like I don't get cold like that. He talk about California. Um, Make sure you keep, I always keep, even though we do not get that cold, I still keep pillows. I keep a pillow in at least two um, fleece blankets inside the vehicle, but just in case if I break down or anything and Alex won't have to get cold or I don't have to leave my car running until Billy gets to me or AAA gets to me, um, we have the blankets to keep us warm. Um, make sure, again, if you live in an area where it snows a lot, please keep your car gassed up. Don't, don't, don't be like, Oh, I'm on a half a tank. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Keep your tank filled up through the winter time. Because I think this this uh this winter is gonna be very unpredictable. Not sure about hurricane. I am bad watching the news. No clueless. <laughs> My own city. Damn Urban, I think Hurricane Lee just hit you guys. It probably got to Canada as a tropical storm, but I know it definitely hit some parts of um Canada. And I believe that was yesterday or the other day. Um, <clears throat> what? Well, Laya, Erica, there is irony to you talking about cold weather. <laughs> we won't see it until practically. It, it, but see a sunshine. I got to make sure everybody is a, like just starts their prep. It doesn't matter when you get the cold. It's make sure you're prepared to get that cold. I, on the other hand, like to start early because I am. I like to decorate for Halloween and Christmas and all that. So my house be looking real, real crazy. Um, you know, during the holidays, between cooking and decorating, and yeah. So I got to I got to start my prepping. My prepping is my priority before I drive Billy crazy. And you guys, I have a secret since I know Billy's not in here yet. I am decorating my tent with Christmas lights. And I'm going to give myself a Christmas tree for my tent and everything. So you guys don't tell Billy. <laughs> so I plan on doing a bug out weekend or uncomfortable weekend in the winter time most likely around christmas where i could show my holiday lights and my christmas tree and everything else i have it all planned out in my head zach don't be telling don't be snitching zach we don't do that we don't do that around here so yeah so when we go live for the 12 days of Christmas, expect to see the tank, guys. Ex expect for me to find some, some type of way to go live outside so I can have, so I can show you guys the Christmas tree and it's going to be all, it's going to be, it's going to be wonderful. 
it's gonna be 12 days of christmas is gonna be fun guys i'm gonna have so much fun this year with it but anywho um oh, oh and that's another thing talk about tents make sure you check your tents make sure you guys don't have no holes no leaks and anything inside your tents you guys should have been practicing during the winter time i mean the summertime anyway because that's the best time to make sure you have find me a good tent zach i'm still looking i was telling billy today about that you wanna you wanted those zach click the link so we can i don't have to talk at you i can talk with you you want one of those tents i can just throw and it will pop up but you needed a certain height i can't find it the height that you want so that's what's making it difficult hey juicing with jay how are you i'm not gonna pick on you today so um hey mira i know i seen you typing talking about an empty range bag but i didn't say hi to you i apologize um but <laughs> also make sure you have good boots please 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 make sure you have the foolery is starting again you said dress up ah. guys i'm gonna have to meet you for 30 seconds i know some of y'all could read lips but at least it'd be nicer for you guys to read my lips and actually yeah, hear the words that's actually gonna come out of my mouth yeah give me one second just one second I'm back, guys. Say hi to the people. Hey, everyone. Hey, hey, Howard J. Hey, she is sunshine. Hey, mirror. Hey, juicing with J. Urban's in here. Hey, I'm biased. Hey, Tan. Back. Ray hey, official. Tan. Hey, Ray. Ask them if they had a good day today. Is Shannon and Jason up in here? I know they is. What? I know they is. You know they is, or you know they are. I know they is. <laughs> Imagine if my, my ELA teacher was up in here. <laughs> I know they are. See, Sunshine, you know, you know Wednesday's foolery day. They don't let me be successful. Look, look, Jason. Look at Jason. What are Jason? That, that my brother. That my twin. That's my older twin. Ain't that old though. How's he your twin and your daddy's twin? Because <laughs> me and my daddy the same person. If he didn't cut his hair, we you would have you would have said little Billy. Not how many people call me Hi, little America. Billy. You then? If he didn't cut off his do hair, do you have any advice for the topic? Let's start that. Do you have any advice? <laughs> Did you already tell them about the uh the wind the things the tarps window tarps? Yes or no? Window charts, the plastic. plastic. Yes, we talked about putting plastic on the windows. We use... take out your ACs and shut down the thing. Oh, take the ACs out of the window. Yeah. Mm hmm. What um, else? What else do you do? We ask you to do. Or start prepping? the fire. Say it again. Say it start again. Start the fire. Right. I get Billy. Billy smart, gets. Bro. Billy does chopping the wood, and Alex starts the fire. Mm hmm. No, so if I you ain't got your me. if you if you ain't got no kids get your kids right they need to be they mm -mm. Well, i need to keep my hands clean well I, somebody's gonna quote this and have their kids saying <laughs> everything on fire no they'd we're talking like, about starting the fireplace they'd be like yes my kids start the fireplace and now my house is burned out you know what <laughs> erica my fly family said oh get your God. kids to start fires 
Right, Howard Jane. Um, <clears throat> crafts. That's another thing. Make sure you're canning. I, I, I water bath. I don't can. Juicing with Jay. He's not funny. He's not funny. He's aggravating. Urban, you ain't lying. Pull out your freaking flannel pajamas and your nice fluffy socks. Can't listen. Can some soup. Everybody loves. Yo. He is for the foolery today, guys. So Alex got it. You know what? That let that be next week. Let that be next week where he's here to defend himself. So I love soup. I I made I made curry stew, chicken noodle soup, chicken rice soup. I make I I love soup. So in the winter time, we may do jambalaya. Hey Hutch, I may even do a jambalaya or a, a, what do you call it, Geneva and Mira, the crawfish touffe, e touffe, whatever it's called, the crawfish stuff. I might even do that. Billy and I'm hated. They they hate the fact they want like something that's gonna stick to their stomachs and you know keep them warm. They want like a ham and you know collard green. Well, they don't even Billy don't eat collard greens, but um, Alex does, and they want the whole Thanksgiving dinner through the whole winter. I don't got time for that. So I I need Zach and Gina because I know y'all both in here, Zach and Gina. And crafts, I'm going to put you in that category as well to put out some canning soup videos so um, we can get through this winter all together. So if you can do some chicken soup canning videos, I'm for it. Oh, see, Sunshine, you you ain't lying. And it's football season, so we do the, the nacho chilies and all of that right right that's what we're doing so if we can all share meals i'm i'm all for it. i'm all for it mira don't do that i i can't what happened turn, can you turn off the, the microphone just turn it off please so I can see <laughs> give me one more second i apologize Sorry about that. It's Wednesday foolery. Woo. My Lord. Yeah, Urban, I was. <laughs> oh, 
I was. I was. I was. I was keeping it PG though. I was keeping it PG. Al Alex is. Alex is on it today, boy. He is on it today. <sighs> so Zach, you can in this weekend. So you going live with Gina and TT? Is that what you're saying, Zach? Hey, Big Riz. That's what I that's what I need to know. Are are you canning with Gina tonight? I mean this weekend, Saturday? Cause I'm for it. I'm I'm all for it if if you're canning with Gina this weekend. Okay. Hi, you tried it? I've never said I was canning this weekend. <laughs> I tried it though. You tried it? <laughs> I tried it. I tried it. I tried to put it out there. Yeah, we like we typically live can on um Saturday. It's on TT's channel though. Um Zach, but I don't know what she planned on canning yet. But you are always more than welcome to come up and can with. We always drop the link. I need y'all to share some soup man. though. Like I need some soup. What up, backwoods? I uh, we can, I don't need soup yet. Uh, we did can. I'm actually looking right at it. We canned chicken soup last fall, winter, fall, winter. I still have, I think, four. I guess I could can more soup though. <laughs> so wait, what are you canning? I'm not even ammo. Right. <laughs> right so i and think i'm gonna busy. have to do listen i think i'm gonna have to do rebel canning what's because, that like when you don't have the actual canner you just can inside the oven you put the mm -hmm. water in the pot the mennonites so, do that a lot I've yeah seen some, there's some canners on here there's at least one that um i follow that does uh can like oh, that, so they, they been that for, they've been doing that for centuries they've been doing it for a long time so right I mean, so if you're comfortable I plan with it. on i plan on doing that because i hey jay I'm, I'm gonna um i'm gonna follow that that link i think i actually do already the uh hey, backwards i don't remember the full name it's something mennonites uh men and mm, i had to look it up i i do follow one of the channels um because i've done I got my pepper jelly recipe from her. Girl, I'm glad you reminded me because my Amazon cart is looking crazy right now. Zach, don't say nothing. So, <laughs> Guess who dropped a video today 15 minutes ago? I was Zach you know what? Zachary. <laughs> <Is that your laughs> name? Did I just call you by your full government? I don't even know right. exactly what this point. <laughs> Right. Hey, like Ray. Hey, Mirror. Yes. Hey, Mirror. So, um, but I, you know, I be canning. So, I know. I do need to can more beef, like um, for um, like stew or beef and noodles or um, like roast beef. Mm -hmm. Canned up. I will can. I have one left from the last time I canned it up and I you that I just told y'all what I use it for beef and noodles roast um beef stew uh -huh. you can do beef vegetable soup um so yeah hey Shannon Shaney Shanny Shanny <laughs> I think it's Shanny hey Kenson Craft Shanny Shanny yeah. Listen, I be messing up the uh, the names. Listen, you know, I don't even, I be trying to see what part I can actually say and be like, that's the part I'm going to say. That's it. Yes. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm, doing I'm, Geneva, I'm you being nosy because I saw um, yeah, I saw Geneva in the chat. I said something to her I thought when I came in. If I didn't, hey, Geneva. 
Because you know this is usually Geneva's nap time because she be up all night right. playing her, her right. game. Geneva, I, I told myself I was going to watch you go live. And then I was just like, I cannot. It's not in me to be up that type of night for a morning. It's just not in me. The channel that I follow is called Mennonite Farmhouse. Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Gina, what do you do you different can, how between do the summer and the winter? Like, how do you prep for your winter besides changing out your garden? Um, I do my meal prepping, which um, I still haven't edited the video for that. So I like to do freezer prep um, mm -hmm. because the fall and winter can be a busier time. Also... I don't be really wanting to come home and cook, and cook. <laughs> sometimes. So I um, I prep a lot of meals for the freezer. Um, and when I say meals, sometimes it's not even full meals. It's just part of it. I might get right. things out of the way to make the meal. Um, so instead of me having to thaw out ground beef and pad up burgers to make burgers, I already have patties that I've already padded out and okay. I can do that and put those in the, in the skillet and, and cook them. Um, I'll put marinated chicken in there. So all I have to do is take it out and cook it. Um, Y'all yeah, see though, I did a video. Um, I'll chop up or slice up uh, like chicken breast and thighs for like right. chicken fillies and chicken uh, fajitas or stir fries. I do that with steak. So it right. just takes the prep out of it. I don't cook them beforehand. The only thing I cook beforehand is ground beef. I will cook up a bunch of beef that I ground up that I could put it, make tacos, spaghetti, chili, whatever right. I will make with it. Um, so I do cook up a lot of that. Um, but outside of that, I just prep the other stuff. I prep meatballs, I prep meatloaf. I just prep. And then um, now that I can, I also can up stuff so that I can have it on hand um, mm -hmm. for just convenience. Um, and outside of that, I really don't do a whole lot. So yeah. I don't have to put anything over the windows. We don't deal with the breeze or anything through that. Because um, I believe the windows were fairly new when we moved into the house. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't have to deal with that. I do have, well, I have one, two heaters, two electric heaters, because the basement always stays a little chilly. Yeah. Um, and then our bedroom is a build on to the house. So I, I think this, most of the houses on my street, which I didn't know until like just a few years ago, are two bedrooms. Oh, okay. Ours is not. Ours is a three bedroom. Most of them are two bedroom, one bath. Ours is a three bedroom, two baths because they built on a master with a bath. Mm -hmm. So that part of the house, that room, it tends not to get as warm or cool as the rest of the house. Right now. So I, I didn't have to pull my fan out this year because it never got that hot um, in the summer, for the summer. Mm -hmm. but, have a fan that I could take in there and then we have a heater that we can take in there like for times um but yeah that's about it yeah. but actually I'm like I probably there's other stuff that I probably have that I just don't think about as a prep for the winter well what about your vehicle do you prep like keep blankets and extra food and water because you you I don't you'll get to have snow also right mm -hmm. we can right. um I don't keep food in there. I usually have water, um, blanket, um, like um, emergency stuff, like um, um, jumper cables and stuff like that. Right. Um, that might be it. Girl, you gotta, you have a trunk organizer, right? I do. Yeah. So what are you saying? <laughs> I would just put an extra blanket in there so if you, God forbid, something happens, you could stay warm and not run your gas. Right. 
Oh, now, no. I do have that. What I The only thing I don't have is food. I do that in water. You, you should keep like water. granola bars or something in there where they have a long shelf life. You need to, Gina. Right. <laughs> and that's the funny thing is, for the most part, like if, and especially in the wintertime, typically, that's why when Urban's live on Saturdays, I'm in the streets. I don't do a lot of ripping and running during the week. I just don't be up to it. Um, so my home to work is literally like a sneeze. I live fairly, fairly close, close to where I work. So it takes me, I don't know, 10 minutes back and forth. Hey, um, Rambo. So, I mean, I probably could walk if something happened. <laughs> you gotta have some boots. Hey, J3. Hey, J3. Hey, Rambo. I have the street that I take to go to work and home. My cousin live on that street. So if something was to happen, I'd be knocking on her door. And if I get any closer than that, I'm almost home. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> back was the wild. Right. Back was. You know what? Back was because I got to make sure she good. Back was. <laughs> All right. Don't make front woods come out early. It's ah. too early for front woods ah. to come out. See, now I did used to carry food in my car, but it wasn't for me. I used to carry, and I'm I'm gonna get back to doing that. But I used to carry um, a freezer size bag with like um, little stuff in there, like granola bars and um, the little uh, cup of soup noodles and. Um, uh, small toiletries and stuff because right. there's always a lot of homeless people um on the corners a lot so if the if they're asking for food i will typically have those in my car and when i'm like at a stop and i see that a sign saying you know they're hungry i'll just hand them out um i use especially around the fall and winter time i usually always do that do that yeah mm -hmm. we used to feed a family you know, I used to, you know, do food shopping. When I did my food shopping, I would do a little mm -hmm. bit extra to help that family get through the week and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then they moved. So now that, that money just goes back into my household. But yeah. Yeah. That's, but, a, that's smart though, Urban. Um, listen, if something was going on with my, like my freezers or whatever, I would absolutely do that. We I used to do that, that in New York. Yeah, New I don't York, see anything wrong with that. If we, if our electricity went out, I would never ever panic because I used to either put the cooler um, outside and put all the snow inside the cooler and keep everything cold, or just put it outside in the snow to keep it all cold. Exactly. It was never. There's certain benefits of being in a cold place. Here, it doesn't snow. And I mean, it snowed the first time we was here. We moved here, and that was six years ago. And I, I promise y'all, it was like I can blow on the snow, and it was gone. It was like, yeah. and they oh shut down God, the city, didn't the they? The whole city. And I was the attitude that I had, and I was like, you know what, Erica? Just what is funny is it could be that bad here. I don't know why. Maybe you do that because I don't really dive deep into all the politics of it. But in my city, they don't ever declare a level three emergency. Really? It's never. Even if we know it is. And there's some reason why. I can't remember. Somebody told me one time what it was. But I mean, it. they might, they will strongly suggest you not be on the roads to allow the road right. crews to to do their work but they never classify our our streets and, and stuff as a level three never do mm -hmm. we'll be a one or a two but never a three now surrounding cities might hit threes but our city no they don't G google that zach they do not <laughs> they do not. 
They will not. It's a reason. I, I can't remember why someone said that they don't do it, but I've never seen it. I used to question it all the time. Like, how how is it not a level three? And we're we're on ice. There's black yeah. ice up there. Yeah. Even, I mean, if it rains, if it's like 50 degrees and it rains, they were like, oh, be careful. The, the Going over the bridge, it may be stuff. I'm like, it's fucking 50 degrees. Are you serious? And then I'd be like, I understand. I understand. I, you know. Yeah. I I still I always throw up this one year. I don't uh this one year. I'm just gonna I was about to say something else, but this one year it was 2008. I'd never forget the year for many reasons. My mom passed in 2008. Mm -hmm. It was two months after my mom passed. My birthday was two months after she passed, and I was I never do anything on my birthday. I always never I always be like, oh yeah, you know, it's just a birthday. But this right. particular year, I was gonna do something. And my brothers, I mean, it was like a bunch of us was going to be hanging out. So we got feet of snow that year. Feet. To where, like, it looked impossible to try to dig yourself out. <laughs> and I was not very nice. I was, like, snippy. I was not happy. <laughs> But we still went out. We dug ourselves out. My brother and and, and um, my husband's best friend and one of my two of my close friends, a bunch of we we dug our. I wish I could find a picture right off the hand where we we all went. Yeah. They had this uh, BYOB that we went to, and we had a good time. We was out, and it was other people there, so we wasn't the only crazy <laughs> folks who dug themselves out. <laughs> to get out of there, to go out and do something, but most people stay home. It was so the traffic yeah. was so light that you probably weren't gonna. If you got in an accident, you were just being careless, right? Right. There just was no really no traffic. Most people just stayed their butts at home. Do y'all get a lot of snow? Not normally, Mira. It's we we've been really light. Like the the last time I can remember, a lot of snow was two thousand eight. And it wasn't, it's not that rare, but it's not that common either because we've had it before then as well. But right. that was, for me as an adult, the um, the one I remember the most. It's March, She is Sunshine. Listen, we don't consider ourselves out of winter in this area until literally Mother's Day. Like when they be like, don't plant nothing until Mother's Day. We will get us. We will get a cold snap in May. Right. We absolutely will. We will get snow in April. We may have even gotten snow in May. I don't remember for sure, like when. Oh yeah, then you know that's worse. She is sunshine. Chicago is worse. Yeah. Chicago. Chicago got their own kind of cold. Their their cold is disrespectful. Oh. That, that that Chicago, you gotta have you gotta buy a coat from Chicago in order Listen, to Listen, their to weather is just Chicago. as disrespectful as their people. <laughs> right. That's probably why they people so mean. Right. <laughs> she is sunshine. Y'all got the most rude people in Chicago. They be mm -hmm. rude. Even though I got good friends there, mm -hmm. some of the people there be rude. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, the weather there, I remember one time I was in Chicago hanging out with my friend and we were on the highway and we we literally went through three different climates. It was like hailing on the highway. Then you went, you got past the hail and you were in snow. Then you got past the snow and you, it was like, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I've never seen this in my life. Hey Joseph Harris. Hey Pow Pow. Hey Joseph Harris. Hey Pow Pow. Uh January. Yes, my mom's birthday was January. Yes. Jo wow. She is sunshine. I'd be damned if y'all ain't rude. And that's you know what I just said that 2008. Actually, I had my daughter in 2009 and we got snowed into the hospital. Mm -mm. But it was only for like one day, and then they had the streets pretty cleared up for people to kind of move around but right january 27 
Hey, Jay, what's going on? Welcome in. Joe Bob, where hey, you Jay. been at? You know topics like this. You got all the info. Right. Hey, Joe Bob. Oh, make sure your generator, if you have a gas generator, and I'm only saying this because somebody in the chat had an issue with their generator and they had to call the fire department. Hmm. But yeah, they know who they are. <laughs> But make sure your gas generator is a safe distance from your house so the fumes ain't not coming into your house. Or if that happens, put your fan backwards so the fumes is being pushed back out of your house. Yep. Or get a carbon monoxide detector. They're not expensive. I got mine at right. Sam's Club, I think. Sam's or Costco, one of them. Geneva, Libras are the most stabilized creatures on this earth that's all i'm gonna say about that we are very very stable i will say nothing <laughs> i've dated a libra before in my, in my back in my hay <laughs> stable would not be the word i would use <laughs> i couldn't even say that with a straight face though <laughs> Yep. Yep, go by. They, they're not expensive either. I think it might have been, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks. Yeah. To me, that's just for the sake of just knowing that's not expensive. Right. But um, you said my Libra ain't, uh, is Geneva a Libra? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Zach, solar generation generators. Make sure you guys have your solar generators. They work just as better, just as good as a gas generator. Oh, twelve dollars. Maybe I didn't pay that much for it. I've had it for a long time, Joe Biden. I don't remember. You know, Joe Biden got. You know, he looked up the sale while we was talking about it. Just so I can't I remember. It's how long I've had it. <laughs> I can't remember how much it was. I didn't want to call you out without actually calling you out. But if you want to call yourself out, I mean, you go ahead. But yes, Joseph Harris had his um, lights and stuff went out for a little while. And he had the generator too close to the house. And um, they had to call the fire department. So, wow. This, you know, also yeah. in the wintertime, please check on your senior citizens. Yes. Please, please make sure yeah. you help shovel them out. Make sure they have, you know, the basic yeah. food products, milk, bread, eggs, yeah. just to make a good meal. Um, We used to do that all the time in New York. We used to even have to, um, we had, um, what do you call that? Like not a dirt bike, but a. a like a four-wheeler? Yeah. yeah. Where Billy used to help, you know, plow them out and stuff like that. And I would do the walkways from the house to the um, sidewalk. And Billy would do their driveways. Oh, there. like a snowblower? Not a snowblower. It's like no. one of those, uh, you know, those things they do in the, in, the, in the dirt. Why can't I think of the damn name? I had a long day, guys. Let me apologize for that. We Listen, had I was... I'm thinking very big equipment in my head, but I'm like, she can it's not. not it's not. Oh, a big okay. Because I was like, she can't be talking about that. But um, we had parent teacher conference today, and it didn't go so well for your boy. So mm -hmm. my my brain is a little all over the place. Mm -hmm. So you know, Age America. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. It was it was interesting. Mm. Hey Sherry, how are you? But um, I don't like propane, um, Jamaica. I think they just they scare me. I I can't do I can't do gas. I I mean that to me I don't like that. Yeah, I agree with that, Jova. I um mm -hmm. also listen, y'all. Don't think that I'm just um uh, like some goody two shoes person but i do like to help people i am i it's just my spirit right so um even when my oldest who is now 27 when she was and we used to go downtown and hand out like our old coats 
I would take boxes and boxes of those cup of noodles because if nothing else, you typically they can go into um, a McDonald's or something and get hot water. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's already in the cup, even though those cost a little bit more, they're not that expensive, but they are a little bit more than the packs. Um, right. But they're already in the cups. So all they have to ask for is hot water. And most times a McDonald's or someone will give them hot water and yeah. then they can have something warm um, like um, granola bars and stuff like that. Those are yeah. very simple crackers, like your peanut butter crackers and stuff like that. It's just really um, good for those who are out here um, struggling. So like if you have coats, and it doesn't only have to be to the homeless. You can do donate to a women's shelter. To um, you can go into the schools. You yep. you wouldn't imagine yep. how many kids are being sent to school without a coat on. Yeah, um, I did that last Christmas. Um, a friend of mine in Michigan um, was doing um, donations for coats for kids at a particular school in her city. And mm -hmm. I just went to Walmart and bought, they were like, if you catch them when they when the- First things know, first, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gina, we don't okay. have Gina and two way money around here. They will be going to Walmart <laughs> and spending $20. You didn't hear what I said though. No, it was like $10 a coat. And you could just get one coat if that's what you can afford, one coat. But I did I'll do what fits in your budget because we don't have Gina and Two A and LA's budget. They're in a different tax bracket there. Nope, that's so not true. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel bad for. I know there are so many people out here who are less fortunate, and it's at no fault of their own. Hey, tech money. Hey, tech money. At no fault of their own. Hush, Howard J. <laughs> right, Howard J. We're like, what, Zach? I know you. Go ahead and delete your your comment because you're full of it, <laughs> Mr. Irie. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Wait, but the fact that you was like, I just went to Walmart and oh, picked up like clothes. The Perfect. cheapest place. Listen, you guys can go to the Burlington Coat Factory. They're much That's cheaper expensive. Than they're much cheaper than Walmart. No, they're not. I got $10 coats last year. Girls and boys. $10. And how many kids did you buy for? Eight. Four girls, four girls, four boys. That's not a lot. I Listen. Listen, Virginia Bushcrafter came out the damn bushes. And you look, definitely so not in Virginia. That's what I'm saying. Where, where are you that's running Because from? you're thinking about now that people are going to be buying it, getting ready for winter. At Christmas time, when winter is, you know, ending. on the decline, they're cheaper. Gina. These kids need coats in October, not in December. You know what, Gina? Well, this was this was for this particular thing. This was that was for a particular thing. That friend was doing that for something, a school in her city. So I made a donation to it. Look, Javon got but you I did that. give away my old stuff too. I um like I said, when my oldest was young, we would go downtown and we would do that. So I would take like old coats that we weren't wearing. I would call my people up. Hey, check your closet. Do you got coats that's just sitting in there that you ain't wearing? Can right. I come pick them up? And we just let them go through them and pick what they wanted. Yeah. I think we did that when we first moved here. I would see a lot of kids, you know, with the parents. That's the part that irks me. When I see the parents with the coat on and I see your kid with just a sweater or a t-shirt on, that right there, yeah. that bothers me. Yeah. So I I used to, I don't have any jackets because I will give them to the kids. Yeah. So. Yeah. Or um, there was one Halloween where I made Alex take off his costume to give it to another kid. And Alex was like, but I was like, Alex, you got 10 costumes in there doing absolutely nothing. Like, go change into another costume. So, yeah. Um, I, I understand it. I do. 
Yeah. And definitely think about those women's shelters. Yeah. Um, you know, donating, you got hair products, you know, or makeup. Like when they're trying, when they're getting back on their feet and they're trying to go on interviews and stuff, you got old, old, nice, you know, casual wear yep. um, that you don't wear anymore that, you know, you've been saying that you're going to fit back into or whatever, <laughs> just donate it. You know, when they're trying to get back on their feet and they go into these places, they need, they want to look presentable. Yeah. And um, a lot of times we just got stuff that's sitting in our closets that we're just never, we don't even know they're in there anymore because they're just pushed to the back. I'm guilty. So listen. So in our household, we have this rule where we, before my kids are allowed, or if they even think about getting a Christmas, they must donate. So most of the time they give away clothes that they just not interested or they grew out of. They Alex mm -hmm. last year, um, we got rid of all his toys. We did. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, look, you too grown. I don't want to do the toy thing. Yeah. <laughs> I do the same thing with the donating. I didn't have that problem so much with my youngest. Excuse me for uh -oh. a second while I get in trouble. You know, the Wednesday food uh -oh. really starts around here. Uh oh. <laughs> Gina, just put it down for 30 seconds. Yes. But I do the same thing with the do uh, kids donating stuff because, listen, kids are hoarders. They don't, they don't like to get rid of none of their stuff. Now, my kids, they are odd. They're not like most kids. They don't ask for much. Even at Christmas, my I didn't even buy anything for my youngest who's 14 last year she didn't ask she didn't want anything i don't even I, what did, oh i got her a cell phone i did get her a cell phone but that's it she don't ask for nothing my oldest was the same way she would ask for practical stuff yeah so i'm proud of that they're not um they're not like i'm bratty kids who want all the things although their mother is thrifty so she ain't gonna buy all the things anyway right <laughs> so besides um canning or having food um a, one thing that billy and i always always um talk about is keeping um or filling up juice juice bottles after you use it rinse it out or whatever and put water in them and keep them in your deep freezer and your regular freezers and refrigerators mm -hmm just in case you lose electricity in the mm -hmm. winter time to make sure you can keep everything cold. Yep. Um, <clears throat> again, you know, don't open your fridge and freezer when you lose power. If you right. have no to be in there, just don't go in there. Yep. So you, the easiest way to keep your stuff froze is to not open. Right. Right. So um, just, you know, make sure you you stay on top of the things that you're supposed to stay on. Don't slack on getting gas. Sorry, Urban. I know I'm I know I'm kind of talking to you and Gina right now because y'all put me on Front Street Saturday, so I can only do it today on Wednesday. But uh, <laughs> add about that, I'd be like, oh, I'm good. I don't want to get out. It's cold. Right. I'm Make like, sure your vehicle. Make sure your vehicle, your windshield wipers, gas. Make sure your brakes are good because people will even ride around with like bad this. brakes. Please the don't tires. do that. Please. Change your tires. <laughs> do what you have to do in order to be prepared for this winter. Because they keep saying, the sunshine. I'm sorry. That he did. That's why I skipped over it to your sunshine. I was, I, was like, I was here for it. They they got plenty. Write it all. <laughs> Write it all. <laughs> They'd be all right. Right. But um, she said I found a huge Calvin Klein for $30. Listen, my winter coat I found last year, it was at Myers. It was during the, the, the decline of, of winter. So this was like January or February. Mm -hmm. And I think it was $25. And it's a big coat. It was so a big like I mean, our Walmart sells like big coats. 
but if you don't get weather like that, I mean, for mm -hmm. me to wear a big coat. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can wear a sweater and like a, you know, you can a wear hoodie. a sweater or a hoodie. Yeah. Hey, Carbon. Hey, Carbon. Very good. Did you hear her say that she can wear a sweater or a hoodie? Well, I'm just saying what I'm saying is I could put a sweater underneath a hoodie and I would still be warm. I mean, I don't need my bubble coat. Must much. be nice. It is. It's wonderful. <laughs> It's wonderful, actually. I, I told you this morning when I left, I was, see, I don't notice how cold it is outside until I get to the destination because I'm in a garage. So until I have to go outside of my car, I don't know. Because going into the garage, it, it wasn't that cold. But when I got out the car at work, I was like, oh, it's cold out here. <laughs> I was, I did a little shiver. <laughs> and I went outside this morning at three o'clock. I went outside at three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Carbon, I thought I, Carbon, I thought I'd send a link. What link are we talking about, Carbon? Because I was supposed to send you like four different links. I'm sorry, Carbon. But <laughs> um, I went outside because I had to bring one of the dogs out at three o'clock this morning. And I was like, damn, it's so nice out here. I was thinking about going jogging at 3 o'clock this morning. Wow. Then I was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't that damn dedicated to working out. <laughs> Let me go back to sleep. <laughs> Listen. Right, Zach, 55 this morning. It felt cooler than that. Mm -hmm. I did. I did a little shiver. Hey, Philly Slow. Mm -hmm. I did a little shiver. I was like, ooh. We about to get into this fall hoodie time. That's the best time though. I love coming home. home. Let me not say me coming home. I'm always home. Y'all know that. But I like it when after I eat dinner, I can just you know get sit on the couch and watch my favorite show and have my little fleece blanket wrapped around mm -hmm. me. And you know I don't want to get up. I don't want to do anything. Yeah. So. Yep. That is me. But I love the fall. It's my favorite season. Yeah. My so. absolutely fave. So I was like, let me make sure everybody starts prepping now. Mm -hmm. Instead of waiting till October and then everybody be like, well, I thought I had a couple of more weeks or... Mm -mm. Oh, that's nice, Jamaica. I didn't know you were in Austin, girl. I was in Austin a couple months mm -hmm. ago. Is that where you're landed? Your um, your property where you have the land at? Is that in Austin as well? I would love to go out to Everlane. Yeah, because <laughs> she still is in both. She has she has some land and she's built on there. She has a house on there and everything, but um. I don't I don't want to say it wrong. Her partner, I don't know if it's marriage or whatever, but doesn't want to live out there. But it's so nice. Like it is nice. People you know, just so used to the city. That's <laughs> you know, I had to let her on screen because <laughs> I love it. We was talking the whole entire time. All day. I mean, my computer says that notify me and it's stuck on notify me. So I'm just walking around thinking it'll just pop on and it didn't. And I was like, I hate that. I Hi, hate everybody. That. <laughs> uh, Listen how me. are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> you are Nina, how are you? <laughs> Hi, everybody in the chat. What's going on? You're not nice, sure. I'm I'm always nice. I'm always. No, nice. I said nuts. Oh, oh, <laughs> you're nuts. <laughs> this has been going on for like sixty minutes. I'm an hour up behind now or ahead. I don't you think an hour hard. behind. Yeah, she's an hour behind because she's yeah. in. She. Oh my god! The rain just came. Down. I didn't know that. So I'm mm. relocated. So I know. Yeah, I, know. I didn't know that was. I didn't know that was a behind. 
Yeah. I'm looking at the mm-hmm. time. What time is it? <laughs> yeah. She's crazy. I forgot. I I was supposed to send her the link today. But you're pointing the wrong way. <laughs> Don't I always <laughs> never feel. I do it too. I'd be like, <laughs> look, I'm still doing it the wrong way. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Everybody's doing well. everything. So are you prepping for the winter? Well, you used to winter because you came where well, you, you came from one. <laughs> right. You're probably less cold where you're at. I don't know. I gotta go through a winter to see. I know, but I think it will be <laughs> You're not gonna get that cold. I think it'll be a little less than where you she came. She called me and was like, "Oh my god, we gotta start getting ready for for winter." I said, "Carmen, you got a few more months. You're with me. We got a few more months. We can I'm like, yeah. Oh, you calm down. <laughs> we 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 have to get out the uh, 80s. When it drops down to the 70s, that's when we start prepping. When it, but." Uh, <laughs> um, when I moved though, I had um, I left a lot of my preps with my sister, so I'm kind of starting all over again. Oh, how does that feel? Yeah. It's actually good because I got to clear out a lot of things that I really didn't need, okay. And I'm trying to do like minimalistic type of stuff, mm-hmm. only like what I really need because it, mm-hmm. it takes up a lot of space. Like, when I move, it's like crap. Wait, wait. It does. You know, That's I why really I downsize. Huh? I downsize. Where I went from a, a two-bedroom to a one-bedroom. So it's a lot and of And it's space. challenging. Challenging mm-hmm. is not the word. I was like, <laughs> I felt like a hoarder. I was like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I was pulling out stuff I didn't even know I had. I was like, what did I get this? But yeah, it was it's kind of like it was great to start over in a new sleep. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, right. And being a little bit more, you know, involved in it and going to so many different people and learning from them, it was easier to be like, yeah, I don't need that. Definitely gotta get that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it does. It was it was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Moving is always a lot. I dread <laughs> having to move again. Right. If you're a prepper and you got to move, like, bless your heart. Girl. <laughs> Dude, I I'm can't like, even imagine what Gina will go through because she can't. It ain't even that. I don't, right. Let's not even get into that part of it. I was a couponer for years. Mm-hmm. I know. I don't have right. that stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I, no. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot like if you could prep and actually put it into a storage container so like if you ever do have to move it's so much easier like yeah. don't don't leave it out don't leave it in a box <laughs> like put it in a, a storage container where you could just be like slap a sticker on it and, and hold it out mm-hmm. man i was just like what in the world yes <laughs> some stuff i have i don't even know what the heck it does i was like what is this for but yeah it's 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 definitely it's yep. a challenging situation when you got to move with a whole bunch of stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. I was going to say that, too, when you were talking about generators. If you have a generator, make sure you take it out the box. Right. And charge it. I haven't taken mine out the box. No. You're right. <laughs> That's why I said it. Yes. It's sitting uh, behind me in a box. Tech Money said, I just found 10, ba- 10 pounds of rice <laughs> last week. How do you just find rice like that? <laughs> now, see, my stuff is very visible because mm-hmm. I have shelves in my basement. My laundry room is like probably the size of a master bedroom. Mm-hmm. So I have like your laundry room? Yes. Oh, that's that Gina money. But go ahead. I'm sorry. It's not. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, I have the shelves down there, and so everything is visible. I wouldn't lose mm-hmm. stuff. I'm not going to forget something that's there. As uh, she's looking around the room, guys, look at was, This is a different room. I was, <laughs> this is a different room. This isn't the basement. Mm-hmm. Now, in here, I do have tubs mm-hmm. in the closet, and I don't have a clue what's in them. I need to just yeah. throw whatever's in them away because I haven't used any of it. Yeah, my I know it's something that I thought that I would need, so I put it in the tub and put it in the closet. Mm-hmm. But when I tell you the amount of I don't go in the closet and get the stuff out that happens, <laughs> true. I'm like, what? my sister's like, What is this for? I was like, I don't know. Does it have instructions with it? Because if it does, I don't know what it is. Yeah, but yeah um, the mason jar, she's like, What is this? I was like, 
Don't worry about it. I'll tell you about it. Just put those away and come back. No, y'all are hoarders. The things y'all telling me y'all are finding is ridiculous right now. Yeah. Wait a minute. Take money said he found a crate full of nine for he right. <laughs> Right, that's great. That's a good find, though. Like, that's, it is, but that's a good find. But I was just like, that? that's what you, that's also something you don't want to lose. That's important to know where it's at, right? I really get a storage system or something because it, it'll pay off in the long run. In the long run, listen, yeah. tech money and uh, that guy with guns. When I buy my property, just you know, just lose it on my property. I'll, you know, I'll find it. <laughs> I find it. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> wow. So, Carmen, what ways do you prep for the winter? Now you got it. You didn't even go through a winter yet. Mm -mm. I don't know how their winter is, but I, I, you go through one winter. I guess it's kind of like the it's same different. thing. Mm -mm. Isn't it? Yeah. No, no, no. Philly it's winters are are they're yeah. pretty cold. The yeah. New York is super cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cold, so I'm not sure how this is gonna be, but right, you know, I I did take my like my buddy the heating systems. Just that's basically it. The regular stuff that you have, your blankets, extra stuff like that. Um, okay. For me, like I'm just keeping it as basic as ever. Going through everything like before you prep, you're like, oh, we need this, we need this. I'm like, yes, sir. Right. Well, you just want to eat, stay warm or cool. <laughs> and it's right. like you have your meds and stuff together and, you know, whatever you can charge your stuff up, your generator and things like that. So okay. I'm, trying, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible because when, when it does happen, like when you look at all the stuff that's going on, the fires and things like that, if these are people who are preppers, like how much stuff can they really take? They Yeah. Whatever that's what I said about the generator, but you can't. No, 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 you need the generator. Stop. You stop. Have I yelling. agree because when I saw what you posted about that cyber attack, I hadn't even heard about it. Right. And I definitely went and researched, went and read about it. And I was mm -hmm. like, first of all, people yeah. who read the, the headline of it think it was just Vegas. It was not. Okay. There are actually spots here that were hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Ohio. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, they met the in the, the post that you mm -hmm. uh, put up. She yeah. said Ohio in there. She said uh, some other states, mm -hmm. but Ohio was one yes. of them. Yeah. Um, and I'm just assuming that maybe uh, MGM is some, you know, probably owns some of the ones that may be around right. um, this area. We only have one in our city, and I doubt that they mm -hmm. own that when it's so small. Mm -hmm. But um. It's just stuff like that. Like those are the kind of things that you even have to worry about. We worry about the blackouts and stuff, but there's people out there who just find joy in doing crazy stuff, reckless <laughs> stuff, right? Right. And from that, just making sure that you have a good communication system because if it does go down, not all of this is going down. Yeah. How do you, how do you communicate with that? Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so much. So I think like as long as you get like the basics, your ham radios, your stuff and things like that. Uh -huh. You're not getting no money out and then like keeping money. Uh -huh. I guess with you, I don't know how it's going to help you, but I'm pretty sure it'll help in the long run. And it, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. All the stuff that's going on between the fires, all of this other stuff, your food. <laughs> yeah. Like you really got to start living almost like in an emergency type setting mentality, you know, it's just don't take anything for granted at this point. Cause it's, it's all over. It's like popping up all over the place. Everywhere. Nobody's immune. It's like everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's, you know, definitely that got my attention when yeah. I saw that. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. And then moving to a new spot. Majority of times when I'm working out or doing, going on my walk, I'm just looking at exits, how to get in, how to get out. We have a, a gate. It's a gated community. So it's just like looking at that. I have a lake. My lake has ducks and turtles and stuff like this. So there is some sort of food source if it gets that bad. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but it's a little bit different out here because it's just, it's like highway. Right? You get out of the she's like you walking, walking. Right. 
and that's about it. But other than that, I found some shortcuts. I went through some, you know, all the different little parts of it. Just go, people might think I'm crazy, but I'm just like, right no. down. Carl over here, this is where, because they have like a firehouse, a mini firehouse inside here. So I'm like, how far is that from my building? But it's just going to be the same place. way. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jamerica, I agree. She said, I think we all have PTSD mm -hmm. from what happened over the past few years. It yeah. would be for them for me, but yes, I do agree with that. Right. I, I think I live in a state of that because I'm the same way. I don't go into places that have what is seen as a one way in, one way out. Like you don't see the other exit because it may be just for the staff or whatever. Right. I don't like places like that. Me either. I need to have a, a, more than one way to be able to get out of a place. Right. Period. Right. I don't like it at all. I agree. And I, I just won't frequent those type of places. Like there's a lot of like eating spots and stuff here that people like going to. And I'm like, mm -mm. so nope. all the places, because, you know, we live in a very small town. So, um, I did notice that yesterday because I had to run to different stores. I'm like, each store only has one entrance. It's like a, the same. The same entrance is the exit. And I'm like, hmm. I like. I never really paid it. I don't know why I paid attention to it yesterday, but I was like, oh, I know why. Because there was this lady taking her time coming through the door, and I was like, there's only one door, and I was complaining because she was taking forever, but. Yeah, See, I, I that would be on my list of places I would not go back to. <laughs> Here is different. Um, my neighbors are either extremely friendly or they just don't speak to you at all. Mm -hmm. so, like just trying to size or just watch people and things like that. It's like this is weird. Either they say hi, they like very very friendly, or <laughs> they just not right. You know, five past you like, oh, you were standing there, but it, it's it's different. It's a yeah. lot. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. And in this day and age, you kind of got to look at everybody. I'm not saying you like be like super crazy when you go out, but so much is going on. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes through so much that it's you got to really pay attention to your surroundings, mm -hmm. right? That's, especially when you to some place new. True. Yeah. And just think yeah. that even the ones I thought about that earlier today, because um, I was thinking about like I have. Um, African neighbors, one across the street and one next door. Mm -hmm. And they do, they'll wave and stuff now, but in the beginning, they really wouldn't. I would always wave, so to let them know, you know, just hi. Right. Um, I don't think that they weren't just because, they're. first of all, they don't speak very good English, the ones that are older. Their kids mm -hmm. do, but the um, parents and stuff don't. Um, but I think that in this world, they're just this cautious as we are so they're not being so much being rude they're just cautious they're they're mm -hmm. living in a state of caution yep to in la i don't cause problems mm -hmm. i find <laughs> solutions to problems i don't worry either zach i don't mm -hmm. i don't look at it at, i'm not a worrier but i am mm -hmm. very um cautious I just try to stay alert i just try to stay mm -hmm. paying attention Stay alert. Um, I don't want to get complacent. Right. Right. I don't want to be comfortable thinking, you know, one thing. I want to, you know, yep. pay attention. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why I want everybody to get start getting prepared now. Because, like, you know, <clears throat> I heard it again on CNN this morning. Mm -hmm. You know, they're talking about this possible lockdown in November. So it's like start prepping now. Start getting ready now. Don't don't say nobody said anything or you didn't know it was gonna happen. It might just happen, guys. So you know, yeah. If you it's if better you to start, be ready than to have to get ready. They already right. have a vaccine out for it, like how? <laughs> but you know, that should tell you from the last one. I mean, just think about what it is that you didn't have, and then you got locked down, locked down, and, yeah. and go from there. But. Yep. And I'm not saying go out here and go all in a rush. I was just I thinking know. that you don't have to go crazy. Don't go <laughs> crazy. Don't just don't just buy a little bit at a time, especially right your dry beans, your rice. Um, like I said earlier, I'm big on soup, 
So I definitely rack up on my potatoes and carrots and stuff to um, make sure I just have some type of food. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have your med you know, your medical stuff, your medications and things like that. Yeah. Because if they do lock it down, I think I forgot what store it was. They stopped. They're no longer selling like ibuprofen and things like that because people are stealing it so bad. Really? I did not to sell it. I'm not sure. I forgot. I got it. Let me go back and check the store. But yeah, they yeah, you know, I just, medical. Yeah, your basic, not even like expensive stuff. Just ibuprofen and aspirin. They're like people were stealing it, so they no longer want to sell it. Mm -hmm. And that's like your convenience store that you would normally just run out and go to. So if you can get that and stock up on it. Yeah, right. Be a good idea because if they do lock it down, it's gonna go nuts because a lot of people don't want to yeah. comply. Yeah. yeah. Um, they said we're not doing it. So can you just just think about that alone? Like if you already have your stuff, you really don't have to worry about too much. Yeah. Right. Because it's gonna get crazy. I tell them don't threaten me with a good time. Right. I, lock me down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a homebody anyway. Do not threaten. The first time it happened, I was like, mm -hmm. Look, this is right. This ain't nothing for me. <laughs> right, VB. I told my kids, I was like, look, we already set up just, you know, we'll have quiet time for an hour out of the day. Right. I right. made sure we stayed on a schedule just so we didn't kill each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was it was simple to me. It was like, mm -hmm. this is normal for me. I mean, the kids, you know, on weekends, they was like, they wanted to go out and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'd be like, I was just like, all right, we'll set out the tent. We're, we're going to take a field trip. Right. They'd be like, this is so ghetto. I'm like, well, this is what it is. I'm saying it, I used to set up the tent in different things, like <laughs> making a museum. I used to put stuff for animals, like if we was going to the zoo. Mm -hmm. Listen, they thought I was crazy, but I was having fun. Listen. And I see that you, got, you ladies are working out, doing your thing. That's probably another thing you want to really. Oh yeah, doing yeah. especially if this, whatever it is, going to come through comes through. Yeah, sure you're physically able to deal with it. Yeah, it's just stuff. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Geneva, you don't know how to make date nights at home, Geneva. The nerve of you, <laughs> girl. Use your imagination, no. girl. You know how much you can do, so. Y'all know Billy in the kitchen because Billy's home. G um, Gina and Carbon, if you guys did not hear, I'm setting up the tent with Christmas lights. I heard you. Right. So we're going to do the 12 days of Christmas with me outside. I but, don't believe you're whispering because Zach already texted him like as soon as you, you said. Know. <laughs> you know he did. I don't even know why I'm whispering. Like He just said, I don't think so. <laughs> Geneva, <laughs> right to get Geneva, yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> Look, two way in LA. I've been looking at different campgrounds, also. So <laughs> don't you worry, don't you worry, two way in LA. We're gonna get you out there, you and Gina. Mm -hmm. We will have, I will have everything for you guys. You guys just bring yourselves. There is no valet parking two way in LA. There's no somebody bringing food to your tent. Nope, that's not happening either. So my head started hurting. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I text like Billy. That, you know? <laughs> that's why I text Billy. <laughs> Until Rackham, right, 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 me. You too, Rock. Billy, this that that branch is sliding. Great, right, Urban. There you are. Make sure you get your pet food. I remember last time there was like a shortage on pet food. Yes, that's a, that's a good. That's yes. Um, even for you know, with you, Urban, where you have your chickens, you know, um, we talked about what you know things that you could do for the protein, maybe stocking up on some pet food. Mm -hmm. Just in case. <laughs> Virginia Pushcrafter. You know her well, VB. You Virginia know her. Virginia Pushcrafter. 
I so I need you to look up this tent that I'm trying to invest in. It's <laughs> the Ozark Trail Base Camp. This one's a base camp with Ozark Trail, mm -hmm. and it fits 14 people. It has three rooms besides the walk-in room. So it has, it's actually four. It's actually four. Because you have the front porch, and then you have, like, the wall, the hallway. I'm going to call it the hallway. Then you have the main room, and then you have three bedrooms. But guess what? The bedrooms have their own entrance so it has a tent with four entrances and <laughs> right right carbon expensive. <laughs> i already told you don't include me out where you're nobody say that it what do you need to to travel with that like a small truck because that's <laughs> <something insane. laughs> There's a hallway in the tent? Like, what are we doing? There's Port a hallway, <laughs> yeah, there's a hallway. So you go through, like, the screen porch, and then you go, there's a screen yeah, porch. there's a screen in porch, yeah. And then you go through the little hallway, has, like, a little hallway, and then you have the main area. Zach, it's not way too much. I'm trying to invest in it. I need to do a review. I need a review on right, it. Right, really slow. It sounds like a tiny house camp. <laughs> I'll take a tiny house. I would right. take a tiny house too. And it has the, like I said, it has the main, the main room. You can set things up. And then it has the three bedrooms. And it has like each bedroom has an entrance. And then you have the main entrance to go in. So I was like, oh, I need this. Mm -hmm. And it was for <laughs> tech money. I'm so glad I was waiting for somebody to ask. Tech no. money. <laughs> so it was $400, but it's 40% off, so it's $278. So roughly behind taxes, it's going to come out to $313. She done, she done mapped it out. How she know is the $313? Anybody else would have been like roughly $300. No, she done did the calculation. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> she for real about that tent, y'all. So my <laughs> Renaissance grandma, because you know me and you got the same taste, is the Ozark Trail Basic Camp 14 person tent. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hey, my Renaissance Billy, grandma. Billy, Erica. <laughs> That's it. That's all we have enough room for. Billy need his side. I need my side. Alice got his side, and we got the common crap. But let me not talk about the whole camping toilet slash sink. Guys, y'all know I'm on my camping. So there's a flushable toilet, but there's also a sink now where it comes with the toilet. It's on sale for $115 on Amazon, guys. At this point, you could just stay at home. <laughs> Gina, we're glamping, Gina. Don't, don't, don't take this away from me, Gina. <laughs> don't take this away from me. Billy mean, was like, almost at two ways, concierge. Yeah, <laughs> uh, mm -mm. So you know you gotta, you can't have the toilet just out in the middle of nowhere. So they have the double, the double shower. So, you know, they have the, the double shower tent, has the toilet part, and then the shower part. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you're going to charge admission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. How are so, you doing it? How big is that? What? The tent. What does it come in? What the the yeah. camping tent or the the shower tent? No, the camping, just the camping thing. Oh, how big? I don't know how big it is. It's huge though. I know it's bigger than my, the tent I have now. I'm just saying it was forty percent off. It caught my eye, and they can get their own entrance. So if I don't want the mosquitoes on my part, it don't have to. Be. What more do? What do is it is the spot and walking distance. <laughs> <laughs> Take money. You have everybody has to try camping. 
Mm-hmm. Everybody has to do it. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say something. Uh, Jamarica. Yeah. The last Christmas, I pipe busted. Mm-hmm. She she was saying that she had the flushable. I think the flushable toilet. Oh, and she said she oh, had to she use did? it last year. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's what she was saying. She had to use. <laughs> it works. Right, Mary. Right. <laughs> what you need is some straw. Like shut up, because I'm gonna get the because they have the camping LED lights. You know, mm-hmm. don't you worry. And I was watching, oh, my God. I was trying not to forget her name. But she had the, the um, what do you call those, the lights, the motion lights. So when you walked around her tent, the motion lights came on so you didn't have to stumble across the string. Listen, I'm all for it. I'm taking, I'm taking notes, everybody. Now, I do have, I don't have it on my tent because I don't have a tent, but I have motion lights in my backyard. You Santa may just have to bring you a damn tent because you got everything but a tent. Do I know? <laughs> Listen, I send you some damn talk and tell you to build one at this point. Woo! Use the bathroom, girl. Today is Wednesday. We all for the foolery in this household. <laughs> you know, when I went to Bug Out Weekend last year, I was all I was ready. I was ready to camp out. And then months had passed, and I was like, but am I really <laughs> ready to sleep outdoors? <laughs> Listen, it's it's you, it's very relaxing, Gina. It is. I mean, just camping outside and just listening to the birds and stuff. I mean, at night you just gotta worry about the bats and shit, but Billy, just leave her because she she just wants to act it's up. It's not the bats nor the 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 birds that are concerning me because you know bats don't want nothing to do with you. They're looking for bugs. They're trying to eat right. the bugs. Right. My problem is the bugs. <laughs> well, that's why you you spray your tent and stuff and get one with a screen porch, and then you don't have to worry about all that. Or if you get a tiny house. How are you guys carrying this stuff? <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. No, I have a t- no. You know, I got a two person tent right. on my bug out bag, <laughs> but for my entertainment Jennifer, purposes, yeah. Jennifer, my, you know, I need a tiny house. I'm not doing a camp. You know. need to. You need two types of tents, guys. You need to no, have a family tent for just in case something happens. Mm-hmm. You have to have a glamping tent. And then you got to have a bug out tent. You have to have both. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our best to sleep with the windows open. That's outdoor. <laughs> Listen, at least you could do that. I would be too nervous to be sleeping with my windows open. I'd be like, somebody going to be stupid enough to try to come up in it. <laughs> no. Mm-mm-mm. I think my only concern would be like the snakes. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. I had to deal with a snake yesterday. Mm-hmm. Right, see Virginia. Please tell them. Just, just tell them. You outside with nature. You smoking. I mean, you're not smoking, but. <laughs> <laughs> but he said a cigar. That's smoking. Yeah, that's smoking. <laughs> but I was saying smoking a different. I way. know. Basically. <laughs> You, you know, you got your little bonfire. It's, it's, yo, it's See, nice. Jamaica, she said the, the chiggers and ticks. I'm, listen, I'm, y'all see me scratching as it is. Like, right, why she write that? Ticks, uh, ticks. Oh, you wrap up your hair. I always have my hair wrapped. <laughs> Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying, it came from the earth, right? Tech money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's ceremonial. What we don't do though, when you go camping, we don't do gummies. That's what we don't do. All right. 
here. Irvin, you have to have your machetes. Mental note, don't can't mix the Gina. <laughs> you get up to use the bathroom, Gina. I mean, Irvin already swinging on you with the swinging, right. Right. Yeah, it needs to be Irvin. Irvin said, okay. You better announce that you get in up. Listen. You gotta ring that bell before you come past my tent. Say something. I'm going to pee. <laughs> you got to go all the way around. Right. Mm. Ronnie Bray, you said no gummies in the woods. <laughs> that would actually be funny. <laughs> I don't know. No. Talking to the tree. What's up? <laughs> What's that going on right now? <laughs> no. That fireside chat would be hilarious. Mm -hmm. that was, that's what would make it fun like the people mm -hmm. that you would be doing it with even mm -hmm. if it's something that is not like on your radar to do it's mm -hmm. right it would be that that's what made it made me want to do it going to the bug out because mm -hmm. all the people that i got to meet when i went up there and how they had things set up and everybody was helping each other and they seemed to have comfortable dwellings <laughs> <laughs> They all seem to be comfortable. I mean, because they stayed out are. there. They stayed out there for, I think, three days. That's all right. And that, that, some of them were out there longer than that. If I can get Billy to go outside for three days, oh, my God. <laughs> and Mad Shad, he didn't even bring a tent. He did a hammock. Wow. He See, I, couldn't do a hammock. I couldn't do a hammock. He had it tied between these trees, and that mm -hmm. was his setup. He had like a little something over top of it a little bit because mm -hmm. it did rain a little bit one day. Mm -hmm. But so, if it was a because they make camping hammocks, was it like a regular hammock or was it like a camping hammock where he can close it and have the screen in between mm -hmm. him? Mm -hmm. I think it was a regular hammock. Bush Crafter, was that a regular hammock that Mad Shad had? I'm pretty sure it was. A regular one. Yeah. Because mm -mm. I'd be scared about raccoons. Oh, no. He didn't care about none of that. I can't. But they was, a lot of them was, you know, they were all, most of them were carrying it anyway. But, yeah. but you know, witchcraft to be making a whole bed from the wood that's in the forest. I was like, did he just make a whole bed right there? Listen, mm -hmm. now he did have a tent, but when I tell you his tent was it was definitely not glamping. <laughs> when he made the bed? I was like, that's Listen, I, I was surprised he even had a tent. Right. Because I was like, I'm seeing what he does when he goes out in the bush. Mm -hmm. And he actually did though. He had a tent. It was it was a small one. It was one that I would have thought if I saw it, like, oh, that's not gonna work for me. <laughs> but the two person tent, yeah, the two person tent is that, not that's probably what it was that. called, but I, that ain't what it yeah. looked like to me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's small. It's like enough for just you. Just it's really a two person that's what tent it looked is like. just enough for just really one person in your in your bag. <laughs> like all that other stuff. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. Y'all, y'all yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I said this last time. You two way people are very, very bougie. Y'all, y'all get it together. Y'all get it together. Because us preppers and gardeners, we, we out here doing it. Y'all two way people, y'all need your bags carried. Y'all, y'all doing too much. Y'all can camp. I can even bring your pew pews to the campground. I don't, think camping don't once. Around, have ranges. Yeah, that's true. I've been camping once, and, and my brother he wanted to go. He he was like, yeah. Oh, he was taking all his kids. My brother has a lot of kids, and he wanted us to come. Me and my bro, my me and my baby brother and our families. And I'm like, but where are we staying? Like, are y'all in tents? They weren't in tents. They were in the cabins, and I'm actually. They have two kind of cabinets when at one of the campgrounds. One is like literally you go inside and it's just a room, and it has two right. beds. I don't even know if it had a. I'm a. I guess it might have had a bathroom. That's it. Mm -hmm. 
And then they had the ones that were like, had a living space, a little bit of a uh, kitchenette. It had two rooms in the bathroom. One room had bunk beds. The other room was like the master. And then it had a deck and all those things. So you know which one I stayed in, right? Right. I know exactly which one you stayed in. <laughs> but that's not camping. That it was. A log house. That's like a whole log house. That's. That's not camping. Camping is when you in an actual tent. That's what it is. <laughs> it was camping. <laughs> it's a variation of camping, right? <laughs> Listen, it was, it, that was a lot. I'm not even going to lie. Like, and we only were there one night. I was good with, for one night. In the whole in the in the cabin, you only wanted to stay for one night in a cabin, Gina. That's because you and a you and a you it felt like outdoors. <laughs> Was there electricity in it, or is just uh, girl? Why? <laughs> <bye. laughs> at least do it. Do the one without the electricity, so you really got to use your lips. <laughs> She had running water. She had everything that was at her house just inside yeah. of a cabin, and she. But it was so much. It was. So it, much, it, was it was. It. It was so small. Yeah. It was like it was small. Because they don't want you to stay inside. They want you to go out. And we right, did. We didn't go inside until nighttime. We were. We grilled out. We um. We had like the s'mores and stuff for the kids and stuff. But we were outside <laughs> all day. I'm so bushcrafted. <laughs> right. Listen, Virginia, you will have to be there. Because I'm going to just say this. I'm leaving Carbon behind the first time she thinks she sees something. Gina is not even going. Don't Gina is dropping us off. Me? Bougie, she'd be like, Erica, we got this. Bougie would. Mm -hmm. Bougie be like, Erica, we got this. (laughs) (laughs) Carbon has to surveillance the whole area. About three times. I do. To be like, <laughs> yeah. If she's gonna make her final decision, I do. I gotta see where, how far the water is from there. We gotta figure out where we're gonna go to the bathroom. She's gonna be like, oh, yeah. guys, let's do this. We gotta do this. We got. I'm like Carbon. Let's set up the tent and let's start the fire. You but tried you to know, set up tents in the graveyard, right? And you gotta yeah. clear your camp area. You yeah. it up with a whole bunch of. It was a campground. It's a whole campground. You pay your little fifteen dollars. We like that campground. Go camping, and you can go hunting on the ground. It just had like two or three headstones. I mean, we can all get past that. We can Don't all get past that. Who is who is we? <laughs> First of all, the bridge looked like Sleepy Hollow, and then there was graveyard graves on the other side. She said, "Well, yeah, yeah, you know, no." Mm-mm. You had to see the pictures. It was just nope. the only two colors in the pictures were like gray and black. It was like nobody's <laughs> sunshine. Nope. We ain't trusting it. You heard two way. He says she is off any camping right. committees. Um, then the other one was beautiful, but it had um alligators in the water. Allig- so that's the another head. thing. I'm She's like carbon. Water. They're not gonna come out to where we're at. <laughs> right. You fit- what? You they get hungry. Yeah. If the so if the campground is where alligators are, they used to commonly seeing people, so they're not gonna bother us. Erica, we're cooking food. What? Out. Wait a minute. She said they're gonna stay in the water and around the, the water. I was like, this girl's nuts. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. So these are people friendly alligators. Where they live at? Disney <laughs> World. <laughs> where do people friendly alligators live at? What state is this? Florida, it's called Disney World. Girl, bye. Okay. Girl, bye. Let me Google alligators in Florida, and a story probably gonna come up. Thank you, for that. Somebody just got ate. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the two things. Yeah, that is a fly going to play. <laughs> I was like, what, Eric? I was like, no. First, no. you want them to sleep by the graveyard. Now you want to put them in the graveyard. Like, we're not gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, it, 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 and a place that allows for hunting lets mm-hmm. me know that there's something to hunt. Right. You. So I don't want none of that. <laughs> I don't want none of that. But that's part of the 
camping experience is when you can go out there and kill your own food and cook it and do that's what we oh do. oh we we oh don't you believe her don't <laughs> you believe her don't do it you so like that a feel factor <laughs> that part hey, Skelly. Mm -hmm. listen Kirby oh, came up here with the right name on right. Her, her. I'm trying Eric to tell you. Nuts. Absolutely out of her mind. Nuts. Listen, if we all want a camping experience, we can all camp at Skilly's house, all on the cement. Nah, or we ain't doing that either. Right. Mm -hmm. We ain't sitting up around the trampoline. We're not doing it. <laughs> we can set up on the trampoline, around the trampoline, underneath the trampoline. <laughs> and we just have to listen to the dog bark. <laughs> I'm not we're nowhere where there's alligators. No thing. See, even Jamaica said no. She got wild mm -hmm. boars and coyotes, and she she draws the line at alligators. <laughs> I'd rather take my chances with the boar and the coyotes. But that's, that's where. That's, that's listen. That's no, and they run for the Everybody bring two people, and we can make it work. Nope. We sacrificing one of the two people. <laughs> we bring a sacrifice, right? <laughs> bring two people y'all don't like, and we can make it work. Wow! Yes, now I'm not dropping the link for you, Skilly. Not for today. We're about to leave. <laughs> I'm in Texas right now, and they have a freaking burn ban. I can't even go bushcraft in here. Um, oh yeah. Um, Yep, I saw that. Um, mm -mm -mm. What part of Texas is that? Um, mm -hmm. Somebody said Houston. At Houston, they said they're. Somebody said that they were um, burning manure. Yeah, was it manure. I think it was. It, did it look like it was under control? It did not to me. It sure didn't. I was like, well, good. It's funky and it's hot out there. Well, um, see what he said. It didn't look like manure to look, me. Right. Great. Knows Brady knows the gators don't really bug you unless you now the peacocks here in Georgia. That's what you need to watch out for. The peacock, listen, those right, big gators, money, by the money. time you see them, you're asleep, you ain't gonna know they're there. And next thing you know, you well, you're here, an alligator, you're here. One look, sacrifice two men and two one man. Leaves. That's what I'm saying. Tech money, somebody mm -hmm. gotta be the food. Mm -mm. Some Cajun gator. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I think we're and I think here where we at also we can't burn anything. I think because the wind is getting too high also for us at this time of the year. Mm. So burning, I think. Oh no, it it looked it looked interesting to me. The video I saw was happening in Texas. Yeah, it looked out of control. Even the lady on the news, she was like, it's a little out of control. I was like, a little? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, and it's fire lady. Newer either. I mean. And fire just needs some air to make it get bigger and just blow in a different direction. And it's, it's, yeah. out and it's so dry there. So it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. All but, right, guys. I got to cook dinner, and I actually Ooh. did not feed the dogs yet. Yeah. My kids on crying. I got to go. Why? What would you forget? I got to do that interview. Uh, oh, good luck, girl. So well. Oh, we still live. Let me let me change my face. Good luck. <laughs> go, good Thank luck. You. <laughs> See you guys later. I'm really Bye, everybody.